Well, hello there and good day. Thank you for joining me. I am Frost PDP, and today we're playing Brigandine Grand Edition. This is uh, episode 10 of our Necrotic Norgard campaign. We're in battle because the AI decided not to reinforce very well in its vulnerable areas. I don't know if they'll run or not. I don't know if they'll fight or not. I can tell you that with some fairly meaty stuff and some ranged fighters, they could actually be deadly uh, if they were human players, I would actually be very afraid of this battle, even with my troops as strong as they are. And I know I'm using the word strong here. I suppose, I guess, I should add the obligatory relatively strong here. But, I mean, I also have two high centaurs. And a fairy queen. Have like the ultimate green army here, which is vulnerable to red like a motherfucker, but. I also have a little blue. And I don't know how to use my little blue. Retreat? No, no retreat. Interesting. So how do I feel about this fight? I feel pretty good, honestly. Let me see if there's any specific reason to target Gilsis. He's got low HP. He's got a red and a blue. That means he's somewhat vulnerable to green. And I can get him four, five times, six times maybe before he can react. Maybe more if I react. I mean, if they decide to attack, great, I have to defend. Whatever, it's fine. And again, they might just cut and run at any point. Set up a little pocket. Put Xerophon on the back end so I can put this here. You can see our movement range real fast. No theory, I can just run down, twang them, and come back up.
like counting out knights in chess. It's like, all right, know where you gotta be. Centaur tank, best tank. No engagement. Interesting. I'll do it. So I want to initiate some sort of wedge action here. My goal is going to be to split Jerrianth off, kill Gilsus in one turn. Lufel's weak as hell, he can't really do much. Bang! Good job, trigger 152. He's toast. Crit 182. He's definitely toast. We'll do a little quick savey statey. The only reason I'm not live, by the way, is that I have uh, videos uploading to YouTube. I know, I know, don't even. Doesn't get the kill, but she gets 199. And honestly, I don't want to overlevel her. That's my other concern, is like, if I accidentally overlevel her, I got a problem. Should I go for another Centaur Master? Kind of think so. Alright, I mean... You get right down to it. Twenty-five tango down. Dragon did not escape. Interesting. It's not going to be much, but it's experience. <laughs> that sounded mad cool. Like, meh. Oh, I'm sorry. I have the frost trigger pick up. My bad. I used that for the multiplayers, which is the last time I streamed anything. Um, my bad. You know, I'm starting to think killing this level one rock bird, fire bird, whatever, would not be a bad idea. One less monster they'll have to damage me with. Yeah. Damn it. Not so much for killing the rock bird. One 
106 is still not bad. They still lost a monster and a knight now. I mean, you can do whatever, but you should probably just, like, retreat. Retreat, retreat. Good. Smart move. Good. Also smart move. All right. It's level 10. It's levelable. Gargis took that, huh? Interesting. Once again, we are like one turn behind with most of our dudes, right? That Orkney is super vulnerable. And it's totally about to be ours. Clark time. Are there any units here for you? No. Road Bull is just constantly pulling up the uh, rear end here. Level one salamander. Ram and grounder. He's a monster. Alsace is a level one devastator. That's like heal off grade. Some mobs. Rids are beasts, I'm not gonna lie. Room cost is only 45, I pretty much have to take it. That's not a bad little army, to be honest. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven creatures plus three knights, one of whom is a freaking necromancer. Defend almost anything. Luntal, even as a priest, is still melee effective and has heal all. You can't use, but you can heal and you can fire. And you can fury. Palo man can fire and fury too. So that's not bad. Domain looks like this. Scalio managed to defend in a battle against Leonia, but it's lost all its other holdings, so Carleon is going wild. Almeki is struggling. If it loses Camelford, it's in a lot of trouble, and I start having to think about ways to, like, get a second knight set down there so I can attack this, attack this, attack this, and then have secure new Amikia and wipe it off the map, but can't afford to lose this. To 
be honest, taking Alaron with whatever, taking whatever this is, is probably going to be an easy win. Take it next turn, then just move the troops off. Move the troops here, attack Nomiki's capital. They'll be in mana debt. They'll be defenseless. All depends on what they've got at Camel Fort, I guess. Their main army is cut off. I mean, that's eight knights and 14 monsters, and it's cut off. What do they got back at their capital? Four knights, three creatures. Enough to be a threat, but are they going to do anything with it? I imagine they'll stack it here, and then finally I'll have to wait, but... I mean, at this point, I gained 1,760 mana per turn and no defensive vulnerabilities. Plus the possibility of taking Orkney. Really nice right about now. Let's do a hard save. My wife's not feeling good today, so I might have to, like... Go out with her to Dunkin' Donuts or something. Or go get her. Because usually we go out together. I'll save the state too, just in case. Yeah, we're 17 minutes in. Screw it. Let's go. Let's keep going for a little bit. Three nights, six creatures. She's green. Yes. I can see creatures, I can see all. Go to level 22 Lilith. <laughs> gimme, gimme, gimme. Another budget, but I'm guessing they're pretty broke. The Empire reinforced this three to so. What you're saying is yes. Not an easy battle, but it's winnable. This combination here is winnable. Slow going. Nothing showing. Hey. But my magic can definitely kill the golem and the spider. And Irvine's only level six. Gonna have to harden up my front line and send it in. There's no, like, shining examples of stupidity over here, right? This is just looking like it's going to try to siege down Lagras or maybe Lydney. Such an easy grab, but not worth it. I mean, it would be an easy grab. Not with this next thing. That's defendable, but that's it. 
That was Leonia. So you just attacked. How'd that go for you? Oh, cool. You brought your queen and your Lucifer up. You're gonna try to break the game on me again, game? One, two, and Leonis would be a threat. Told you. Called it. Split army. Maybe the rare situation where I want to just defend. Or I have blue. And those are firebirds. They go down pretty quick. Wipe these two off the face of the earth. Before Cena. He's blue elemental, but I, uh, I do have options. It's kind of a problem that Kirkman goes first, actually. Guys in for a world of hurt. I'm not gonna kid you. Are you gonna really try to like white on me? That would be fascinating. Kirkman has fire magic. Kerwin's only sitting in the middle of his level 16.
buying a cure range. Demon's gonna be in there to use spells. Indiscriminate flanker sounds good. And no, he only has heals, right? Heals and halos. So we all get to go in a loop. I need to actually save. There's a possibility that if Leonice attacks, the game may crash. And while I prefer that didn't happen. They're the same level. That's a problem. He's engaging. Probably attack the smartest target she could. Big mistake. Sisyphus was not ready to fight. Ouch. takes a big hit. That's the Jubilee, by the way. Well, let's see how much damage Curse does. One, not bad at all. One oh five, very not bad at all. I know by burning Geno Flame, I'm kind of minimizing the damage dealt, but I have a plan. Sixty-eight isn't bad. I don't think he's got regen, but he might. 
kills that. Levels him up one. One closer to what I need him at. You recover 5%. Not great, not bad. Special Acid Breath. I'll take a two hit. So I know exactly what's going to happen to Gale Wing. Keep my little scrubs in reserve and just let them keep leveling up. Sounds like a plan to me. Farming XP for the win. Magic faint. Could I faint this thing? 56%, I'll take a shot. Oh, you're gonna regret ever fighting me. I also don't think that if they get ganged, ganged up, they can do anything to him. I think I'm gonna flank this thing and just crush it. Damn, I'm not. I need to save my water attacks, unfortunately. Enjoy a little frost. 202. Enjoy a little more. 141. Oof. Ouch. That's weakened. What am I thinking? Why wouldn't I halo it? It'll definitely hit kill the level 16 creature, which is a huge boost, great experience for the Hydra, and might even get to level 6. Alright, it did. So you can't start thinking about ranged attacking us. Good smart move. Watch Lini's walk up, swing, and break the game. Retreat! So a victory, you're telling me. 
Ouch. They concentrate the fire spells that could kill one of my axe guys. Just saying. This is gonna easily do 150. Oh, yeah. I'm out of lead. That's gonna hurt. If they're not out of this fight, I don't know why they're running. Then again, they don't know what they're doing, so. Damn. Oof. Retail. 139. Not bad XP for a little fish guy. Crit. 133. Stun. Paralyzed. Retreat. Victory, baby. Noise level 5. One more and she can start getting real fights in. So, no losses, killed a bunch of Leonius troops, and won a battle. This guy invades Zanas, beats Kai. Do we invade Orkney? No, we don't. Lance went for it. Well, shit. Go figure, right? Hey, wait a minute, what's this? How could someone so young be so stubborn? Unless he wises up, he will fail. I've tried to warn him. Oh, father, did you have a dispute with his majesty? Indeed, I've been chasing his army around all fucking month. Finally caught up to you after like half a year. So you, you, what? No, I'm, I'm just a, I'm a bum. We advisors have a great deal of experience. We're getting our asses beat in battle. I understand why Almikia did what it did, by the way. It unites its territories. It gives it a chance to not suck. Again, this isn't a story playthrough. He makes her her favorite dinner, or she makes him or something. Yeah, stewardship plus two. That's great, but this is the wrong game for that. What you're telling me is I can't stick this guy here, but I can stick this guy here. Damn, a little short on mana. I will say Rogue Bull has a lot of Moon Cap available. And now he has the Centaur Master. If you follow me on Twitch or Twitter or YouTube and you want to see a unit named after you, let me know and I'll do it. If you have a specific thing in mind. Like, I swear I named this Vex. E E X X enter. Level eight Hydra, level ten thing. Griffin, Griffin, Griffins can now act as back row. I'm on the wrong thing. The Griffins can now act as back row units, like they're supposed to be. Oh man, what's what spells do you have? Faint and Fury? That's no game. I have 90 mana here. I can basically support one more big unit. I know it's a bit greedy, but I want this army to be freaking monstrous. Well, I counted that wrong. Still worked out okay in the end, but yeah, wow. Yeah, send that army right up on Miki's butt. They're gonna love it. Oh, 
Primogen. I mean, this army is overbalanced when it comes to these things. He's got rock though, it's range two. It's gonna be a back row fighter. Be a secondary tank, I mean jeez. Honestly drop the level one dragon in favor of it. Another dragon to the breath, but he's got unlimited ammo. He's level 12. While his intelligence is only zero. That's only 38. It's also not dimensionable, which is nice. It's cross mod, you can dimension from anywhere. Let's check in here real quick, see what we got. Ten, nothing at ten, nothing at ten. One more. Rangine is an expert sniper, but I can't think of any other class I'd want her as. Archers are way too freaking good. The only one that's even comparable on the female side, which by the way shouldn't be a thing, is Lancer. And that's only at its Artemis levels where it's got the spear throw. When the lady can throw the spear, she's a badass, but she's still not as badass as a freaking Artemis with a shot. Fury, weakness. Lots of strength. Magic is 10. This army is built for killing freaking knights. I could react the Gigas to double Fury to Centaur Masters to target anything blue and just absolutely destroy the crap out of it. Like, the Gel would be dead within the turn, easily. Alright, well I'm going to save up here and take a break. I want to thank you all so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like, share, subscribe, friend, follow, whatever buttons. It really does help this channel keep growing. You know, on YouTube we hit 400 people recently. That's not bad. Let's keep going. You know, uh, maybe by the end of this campaign we'll have 500. Who knows? That's up to you. There's a new Brigandine game coming out. I'm trying to be better at uploading stuff. Uh, the channel art on the bottom right hand side is by Veracity Trigger. It's really badass. Um, go check it out. And as always on this channel, go check him out. I'm sorry. And as always on this channel, La Paz.